However, there are some exhibits that cannot be sent to the jury room. So it will be important that you pay close attention to all of the exhibits admitted during the trial. I caution you that what the lawyers say during a trial is not evidence. Also, anything that I might do or say is not evidence. I have no leanings at all in these cases. My only interest is to have the cases tried fairly and according to the law and the constitutions of the state and of the United States. You are the exclusive judges of the witnesses' credibility. That is, you decide the truthfulness and reasonableness of their testimony. You may believe or disbelieve all or any part of the testimony of any witness. You have the, the duty to decide what testimony is worthy of belief and what testimony is not worthy of belief. You should lay aside any preconceived- Being that this is seven hours long, I'm sure there's a lot of breaks, so there'll be breaks in it. So it's not probably seven hours, probably like five and a half or so. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, this, we're gonna be on this for a minute. And then they'll be day two will be tomorrow. So, <clears throat> yeah, because it's not a weekend. So, probably be listening to this for the next couple of days. Receive notions and not decide a witness's credibility until the witness has testified. Rules of law go govern what the court admits into evidence. If an attorney objects to the admission of evidence, then I must rule on the objection and decide whether you can. Uh, probably not tonight. Like, we'll probably get through a couple hours of it. And consider such evidence. I'm not going to listen to seven hours. You should right understand now. that there are two ways that I can I respond to an objection. Know. If I say sustained, that means the evidence. That means that I granted the objection. Once it gets into the trial, I'll be able to talk a little bit more about it because I I kept up with this case pretty good when it first happened. But there's a lot of new evidence that, that they brought out in yesterday's part of it that we watched, that we listened to. So I'm sure I'll have a lot to say as it goes once it gets into the actual case. And you should not consider the objected to evidence. If I say overruled, then that means I did not grant the objection and you may consider the objected to evidence. You should not infer or assume anything from either lawyer's objections or the court's rulings. During this trial, the court will have to consider some procedures outside your presence. When that occurs, I shall excuse you to the jury room for a time. During these periods, the court will do its best to handle the, 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 the matter as promptly as the law permits. On the other hand, I will appreciate your patience when this occurs. Now, the procedure in a criminal trial is generally as follows. First, the attorneys for both sides may make an opening statement to you. The opening statement is not evidence itself. Remember that what the lawyers say is not evidence. However, it is a preview or an outline of what they expect the evidence to show. Following the opening statements, the state has the opportunity to present evidence to support the charges against the defendant. And the defendant this has the opportunity, boring. if she so elects, to present evidence in her defense. This part of a trial is called the party's case in chief. In the state's case in chief, the state calls its witnesses and introduces any exhibits. When these witnesses testify, they may be cross-examined by the defendant. When the state has presented all of its evidence, the state will rest its case. Then if the defendant elects to present any evidence, the defendant may call her witnesses and introduce her experience. Of course, when these witnesses testify, they may be cross-examined by the state. However, the defendant has no duty to testify or present any evidence whatsoever. After the presentation of the evidence, the attorneys may make a closing argument to you. At this time, the attorneys will try to persuade you to decide the case in their favor. Following the closing arguments, I will charge or instruct you more specifically on the law that directly applies to this case. Then you will retire.